Hello. How are you? Is everything okay? Me too, me too. Okay, so we are going to create... I mean, I'm going to show you how you can create a glass type of sound, like from, from this sign, sign sound. You can create like this. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I forgot. You apparently like that I talk too much here. So, we... I will mostly show you um, how you can create the glassy effect more because in synthesizer there are some tricks. Tr there are some tricks that you can create like metallic sound a bit, like a woody sound, a glassy sound, liquid sound. All these have some techniques. So this one is be covering the what? No, the glassy one. Of course it is, yeah, there we are. All good, all good, we can start, thank you. So this is the sine wave, I've, wave I was talking about. Just a sine wave and nothing else. But the uh, important thing, it is here, it is in this octave range, very, very high. Which is something that we are going to take advantage of. So one of the important things that you have to understand when making a glassy or a metallic sound, actually, um, there needs to be the factor of the distance of the distance to to like the, if you're if you know music theory, like minus second should be in your uh, spectrum analyzer. Spectrum analyzer. Yeah, I'll show you now. Wait. So now you can see I've opened the spectrometer here, and we have, if you can see, we have just a D4 here. And when I'm going to change this fine tune, let's see what, is hap what happens. And I spread it, of course. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to spread. Now, if you see when we use the spread more and use the fine tuning here, aha, uh -huh. you see, do you see this? Look, if I bring it here it's again in the same here but now it's not audible though right ah, but we need it okay just so you know the next important thing is the bandpass filter so we have to open this one and this bandpass filter but another important thing we want the that bandpass filter to this kind of um, frequency be like exactly one octave down or maybe two. Let's see. Uh, we have this D, which as you can see, wait. We have, let's say, wait, uh -huh. we have here, it is around 570 hertz to 600, right? So what we are going to do about it? Let me show you. Here in the filter cutoff, we are going to set it. Um, oh, hold on, my dog is calling. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. So, um, what I what I was saying, yeah. So we want it to be like octave lower than that frequency. I forgot what which frequency was that. Whatever. Let me see. Yeah, was ah yeah okay. So this is the. D here, the note D, or uh, if you use use uh, the other terminology, re, we can check this one, this re, this D. So, uh, two hundred eighty-five, right? <clears throat> uh -huh. Let's see how it sounds. It does nothing changes really, right? Let's go octave lower, actually. Uh, meaning, what is here? 143. Mm -hmm. Still nothing. Let's open this resonance so it can work more. 
don't hear us. Oh, As you know, we need combination of the techniques to get a certain sound. So for this one, I'm going to actually have our um, envelope shaped. So we have this type of sound. And is if you are if you are careful hearing carefully, it already has. It's more woody, but it does have more the the, the resonance glassy sound already. And let's activate the filter cutoff filter cutoffs envelope as well. Mm -hmm. Still pretty woody, right? I agree. But here is the thing that will get you that glassy effect. We will going to set this LFO one with just sine wave and uh, the frequency all over all away high. We two 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 oscillator one pitch and just go extreme here and here. It wasn't me. I mean, it was, but you know. <laughs> Ah, it is. And uh, as it's a glassy and we don't want to make it sound metallic, we need more uh, like a modulation here. So it does, you know what I mean? It does go further, the sound floats. Mm -hmm. You hear it? It needs to be clear, as clear as possible, because if you're going to make it dirtier, that's what, actually that's why we are using sine wave. Sorry, can I talk? That's actually why we are using sine wave. If we would use like different type of waves, like a triangle wave, it's you feel. Like it's ah, it's just a triangle wave. It's mm, will give more grit to it. Well, exactly. We don't not we don't want it. We don't, we want it to be clean as possible, glassy. You know, that's why this one is glassy. And that when I use triangle wave, it will going to sounds sound like metallic. But that's for another video. Let me remember if I had something else to add. No, just that, just that, that's all. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope this was helpful, informative, and yeah. So as an outro, I would say thank you for everyone, because it's really just warms my heart to see everyone interacting in the comment section and uh, just suggesting things, sometimes discussing things, which is amazing. Um, and yeah, I am going to respond to everyone's uh, messages and uh, the requests, of course. Uh, it it is getting getting a bit harder right now. Uh, but 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 I said what I I don't don't you think I don't keep my word, okay? It's weird, but anyways, have uh, have 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 good life. Have uh, sound, z sounds. Just have fun. Yeah, I'm going to go. Bye.